So apparently it's tiger <laughs> marking its territory. Now I'm nervous. <laughs> We bought a rickshaw in India and have spent the last month travelling around the southern states of Tamil Nadu and Kerala. After leaving our trusty Rusty on the mainland and spending an incredible day and night aboard a houseboat in Alapi, our next destination is the hill station of Tekadi. However, after hearing mixed reviews about whether rickshaws can handle the mountainous drive, we decided we are going to park Rusty at a nearby town before catching another form of transport to the town of Tekadi. For those that are new here, this is Matt, I'm Caitlin, and we are the Roaming Pickles. We hope you come along with us as we explore India in our trusty Rusty, the Roaming Rickshaw. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy the video. He's still here. Woohoo! Hello. 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 How's the trip? Very nice. Very, Very nice. nice. Very Beautiful. Nice. Okay, the food, everything is good. Ah, oh, delicious yes. food. Okay, we just stopped to fuel up. We. I've had a different experience again. This place doesn't have oil like out of a pump or a can. You have to buy a separate bottle. So we got a 500 ml bottle. We only needed 300 ml. So now we've got an extra 200 ml of oil carrying around, which can't hurt. But yeah, all filled up and we're traveling pretty well to Thodapura. So I think we'll, we'll be there in good time. So Matt's just informed me that we've done just over a thousand kilometers in Rusty since we bought it. Have, we think a train ahead <laughs> and a massive lineup of trucks yeah. and people having a look at us. Everyone's coming to <laughs> And it is hot. <laughs> so hot. With no breeze. <sighs> oh, we're getting selfies. Pulled up to give Rusty a break. We went up a little hill. It wasn't very big, but um, he struggled. Back to first gear. He didn't like it, did and he? And he didn't even want to hold first gear very well, did he? No, we're, just, was we're another... just lucky the hill run out. <laughs> yeah, there was another rickshaw in front of us and we were like racing each other. It was like the slowest race in history. <laughs> so um, I think we've made the right decision to not take him up into the hills. Especially, especially the four of us. Had... We're about 20 kilometers from where we want to park him. What is your name? My name is Biju. Biju? Biju George. Okay. Biju, Biju George. <laughs> Biju shop George. name? Your shop. Your shop. Ah, okay. Kodapalam. P.O. Okay. Kodapalam Stalam. Ramavira. Just Kodapalam. I enjoy. You are happy. You are happy. He's happy, happy. happy because he's happy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We just thought of to let Rusty cool down and, and he has kindly come over and asked for some selfies. <laughs> he's very happy. <laughs> Thank you, take care. <laughs> oh, if you get bye. Okay, bye. We have just made it to Thodapura. We found a parking spot that I found on Google Maps with decent reviews. 40 rupees per day. It's undercover and apparently 24 hours surveillance. So I think we're gonna park up Rusty and then come back and get him in a few days. Okay, woohoo! <laughs> that ain't going nowhere. Trusty Rusty, he's done me so proud. That is so big. <laughs> Ghee roast. Yes. And you roast. With chutney and sambal. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. <laughs> is that my butter? Oh, it's yes. so small. It is. That is it's mine. mine now. It's such a small little like <laughs> paneer butter masala. Uh, paneer masala dosa. I think it'll be good. Good combo. Oh, look at the oil coming out. 
and we've just learned that a ghee roast is more or less a dosa, yes. but it is just thinner. Caitlin's is a little bit thicker. We had a hectic afternoon, got lunch after dropping the car off and then struggled to find an Uber or it's impossible to get an Uber so we've had to spend a while finding a taxi or a driver and in the end it was it is 4,500 yeah. rupees for the driver to take us to Tekadi and he will return we will stay there so comfy drive at least for three hours What a day. We're here at the homestay. I'm gonna go check in. I saw some monkeys on the side of the road, <laughs> so I'm like, where are you? Good afternoon. Good day, guys. We've woken up this morning in Tekadi. Yeah. Uh, I was so excited. There was monkeys on our balcony. Ah, uh, yes. And in was. the trees outside of us. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hi. How are you? Hello. Good. Good. Yourself? Yeah. Thank you very much. That's good. Good. Take bye care. Bye bye. Ah. <laughs> uh, Yes, yeah, so continuing on, we um, we had breakfast with the host, host family. Yeah, so lovely people, aren't they? And we've since not done much. I had a pretty awful night last night, to be honest. I think something I ate didn't agree with me, and my stomach was quite upset. So I've just taken it easy today, but it seems to be on the mend, I think. So it's now about one, and we're gonna head to lunch with Bruno and Chloe. Yes. And I'm on the lookout for monkeys because Matt said there was some on this road this morning. Yeah, they were right, right here. Yes. I'm like intrigued by them, but also a little bit scared. <laughs> <laughs> How does the monkey go? They're like... <laughs> okay, we are done with lunch about two o'clock and we're going to head to a spice what do you call it spice farm spice factory plantation. spice plantation all of the above <laughs> we'll see if we can hail down a tuk-tuk this sucks being in the back no room but we're here at the spice abraham spice plantation i think we're here just looks like someone's house yeah <laughs> Here's Abraham. I think it's just his house by the looks. So here we have Coco. And chocolate. So here's a cardamom drying factory. Mm. This is the briquette over there. This briquette we use it to save the trees. That's very interesting that the fuel they use to make the hot air to dry the cardamom is made from organic waste like sawdust and peanut peels and all things compressed down. This particular flower is called a heliconia pendula, like a pendulum hanging down. Ah, oh, pendulum, yes, okay. And then we also have cinnamon tree leaves. Oh my goodness. Wow. That's really nice. I never knew cinnamon tree. It's the bark that's ground down to make the cinnamon and the leaves taste so much like cinnamon but there's not enough in it. Yeah. Oh that's very strong. Strong and oh. strong. Oh macadamia tree. Yeah. More cancer, cancer maybe. It's so it sweet. Is. It is, it's so sweet. No, I had it. Did you eat all of yours? Mm. That, you that whole tell, thing. Tell mm. me before. You didn't bite with the French. I teeth the orange. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Bird's eye chili. Bird's eye chili. Bird's eye chili. Mm. 
Ah, yes, I like avocado. Avocado. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> I like them. Mm. Is this from you? Yeah, look at you've been down here too often. <laughs> <laughs> Jackfruit tree. Premier arbre planté. Massive. Planted in 1952. Holy. Male only pollen. Only uh, dying. Ah, you see how big. Oh, yeah. You see, there is a hole here. The insects will go through flies. Go through it. There is a hairy thing. You can look and see. The hairy thing uh, prevents the bees to go come out, ah, okay. and it will come oh, through like this, this pipe, and, and it will come here. Huh? Like then, lotus flower. Ah, uh, then they fly for life. Okay. Here they have enough space. Yes. And at that time, uh, male, female here go, get joined. Robusta. Coffee guy. Coffee. Robusta. Coffee bean. Slimy, isn't it? Yeah. See the sapota fruit tree. Sapota. Yes. All right, we're all done. All that done. was really good for 100 rupees each. We just went through his garden. It was way bigger than we thought at yeah, first. Yeah, it was. And he was really good value and very informative. Walking back into the town and hopefully a rickshaw comes by and can pick us up because it's a couple of K. <laughs> but no, really interesting. Tried some things, some were nice, some were not so nice. Had but, a bird's eye chili. And yeah, the bird's eye chili was hot. I literally just touched it to my lips like the flesh of it and I've just burnt it for ages. What do we have here? A chocolate shop. We've just seen the cocoa pods where they're grown nearby so we've got to buy some chocolate obviously. We're getting one of each flavour. <laughs> It's so busy, have a look at the back there. Yeah. Like a kid in a candy shop, hey? You actually were. They're everywhere, these monkeys. They're like... You, once you see one, you see like 10 around it that you didn't even notice in the first place. And they're so cute, but I'm so scared of them. You hear so many stories of them like stealing things and... <laughs> but it's so awesome. Morning. Good morning. It's about six o'clock here and we're going on a nature walk. So we're gonna go down to the bus stop They'll take us to the Periyar National Park. Yes. It's like down, a tiger reserve. Yes, down to the boat landing, I believe they drop us off at. Okay. And, and then we do a two and a half hour walk. Yeah, about five to six kilometers. Hmm. Um, With a guide. Yeah, I, I believe so, yes. Well, they better be. <laughs> <laughs> um, We've opted to do this instead of like a Jeep safari because I think your chances of seeing a tiger is pretty slim either way. At least this way we might be a little bit more in nature and a bit more peaceful and whatnot. So, um, let's go. Let's go and see what it's all about. But first we've got to get breakfast from our host. Yes. He's making us omelette. On chapati. On chapati and then he's going to roll it up. And that sounds It'll be so good. good. <laughs> let's go. Got, got the <laughs> Made it on the bus. We are heading to the national park now, or soon. So it was 500 rupees each for park entry and 30 rupees each for the bus. On top of the 400 for the actual guided walk. Yes. There's a tiger. Probably the closest we'll get to a tiger. This is how we start. There's like a little raft that he just pulls us across the river. You can hear animals over in the jungle, so should be good. Okay. <laughs> Ready to if a monkey comes at me. <laughs> yeah. 
Hadi. Not as good as the guy. Yeah. Not fresh. It's the one we called the elephant jungle. So the elephants come down and you drink. You see the old mark for the elephant footprints there. Yeah, they're huge. They're footprints like elephants. Yeah. yeah. Stand in its yeah. <laughs> Incredible. We were just standing maybe like a hundred meters away from a group of four elephants. They didn't even know we were there and just silently watching them go about their business. Oh, so good. So happy. Okay. Tiger also territory animal. Yes, okay. Tiger scratch marks yeah. to mark their territory. The female and more oh, yeah. like a male. Oh. They all walk. Yes, okay. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> so apparently it's tiger marking its territory and I asked how fresh is it and he said maybe last night because the grass is still very fresh. Now I'm nervous. <laughs> Obviously you can't see it on the camera but there's some wild pigs up here and a monkey in the tree here. Sloth bear eats the termites in those holes. Deer horn. We've just spotted an a wild animal in its natural habitat. It's very rare, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> You're so You're the weird. animal. <laughs> You're so weird. <laughs> oh, jeez, you didn't do that very well. I think we're done. Back to the raft. I'm really glad we did the nature walk instead of the jeep safari because it was awesome to be able to watch the elephants in their element like without even knowing. We didn't even disturb them at yeah, all. Yeah so we saw elephants, we saw a heap of <clears throat> mongoose, some monkeys and pigs and birds mostly from a distance not really close enough to get detailed shots but the guide was he's all over it he's like oh yeah, he yeah. points out something like like 400 meters away. <laughs> it's really cool. I watch you as you drive. Do you know I'm looking? And I can't help but smile. Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on. I put my feet up and we just sing along and I can't help but feeling just loving this moment can we stay here forever I'm loving this moment can we stay here together if I could stop the time don't you know that I would cause I just love for 